Hello everyone from All Sorts and Jack and Jill. Today I'm going to tell you something from the Bible. It's actually found in Mark in the New Testament and it's a miracle that Jesus performed. Now a miracle is when Jesus does something so amazing that it shows God's power and authority. So Jesus had been performing miracles, had been healing people and had been explaining about God. But then he and his disciples were heading off for somewhere quieter. But all of the people still wanted to find out more. And the Bible tells us that Jesus had compassion on them. That means he loved them. He cared about them. And so Jesus, the disciples and lots of people, actually lots and lots and lots of people, at least 5,000 people, went off to this remote place and Jesus kept on then explaining about God. So Jesus talked for a long time and it was got a bit later. And the disciples went to Jesus and said, send everyone home. It's getting late and they're getting hungry. But Jesus said, see what you can find. And they found something a bit like this. They found someone who'd come out with some food. The Bible tells us five loaves of bread and two fish. That's probably only enough to feed two or three people. But Jesus took some of the bread and he prayed to God. And afterwards he said to the disciples, serve everyone. Do you remember at least 5,000 people? Well, that food fed everybody there. The Bible tells us that everyone was satisfied. That means their tummies were full. Also, the disciples cleared up afterwards and there were at least 12 baskets of food left over. Jesus had provided even more than they needed. So at the time, what does that say? It says that Jesus could do amazing things and the power was from God, but also that Jesus really loved these people. He knew they needed to hear about God, but also Jesus was concerned for all of their needs, including being hungry. What does that say to us today? I think it says the same to us today, doesn't it? That Jesus is amazing. He has God's power and authority. He is God's son. But also that he really loves us and cares about us. If you'd like to find out more about how to be in a relationship with Jesus, please do look at some of the other resources on our church website. Now I'm just going to pray and then we'll move on to look at a couple of other things. Heavenly Father, thank you that you sent Jesus and thank you that we today can be can know that Jesus loves us and Lord help us to want to be in that right relationship with Jesus. Please show us the way. Amen. Now, link to this um, story is also some ideas about some craft things that you could do to help remind you. This is something I made. This is the fish that I made earlier on to remind me about this story. You might want to make a fish or a heart. You might want to draw a heart and colour it in or you might want to do some sandwich making or even some baking. There's also a song linked to this, which is Father God Created the World. I don't know if you can remember those actions. We wave our fingers up in the air and then Father God created the world, which means he created me. The next verse, he created you. And in the last verse, he created us. Please do play it and join in and sing along. Next week, there'll be another story and some other craft ideas and a new song. Bye for now.